so now we have defined the conditional edge before uh, which specifies that whether if we have a relevant document we're gonna go ahead and generate if we don't have a relevant document we're gonna end the graph right so if we want to generate we have to write the generate method right so we will gonna write a generate node which will pass the document basically the context and the question to the LLM model and will, it will gonna get the answer right that model will use that content or the context the document as a context and it will gonna answer it on the basis of the content in the document so let's quickly write a generate I call it generate answer here it will again be a blocking async method and gonna call graph interface This is good. So in this method, what I'm gonna do is that I have to create a prompt, right? Earlier as well, we created a prompt, but earlier we had to give our template, but this time I have uh, already created a template. Basically, we already have a um, existing template which we can pull. So I'm gonna show you how we will do that. So we'll use a hub. Uh, this is again a library from Langchain. So let's import this first place. And since we have the hub, what we can do is that we can use this to pull the data. Okay. Wait, hub. Pull. And we'll pull from here. So basically what it, what this link has is, this link has the link. Or basically this link has the uh, prompt here. So whatever prompt we are passing into, we're gonna pull from this link. Right. And once this is done, we're gonna use the rack chain. And prompt. we'll first get the prompt right and once we have the prompt we're gonna pipe it right we're gonna send this prompt to the model and we'll get the model from as usual from our shared state and then we're gonna again pipe the content and we want the content in the form of string so i'm gonna use string of put parser here so again this is another uh, library being used we are picking it from the langchain core module so this is string output parser we are using it to parse our whatever data which is returned from the model in a string format right and once this is done our chain is ready we it's time to get the generated answer here okay this looks good we'll use the this is a blocking call we'll use an await method at chain we need to invoke it now what parameters we need to pass depends upon this rlm rack prompt basically this act this rack prompt here now i can show you folks where this rack what what was this rack prompt or where i got this prompt from so just let me quickly show you folks okay so this is probably the prompt which i was talking about so it you are an assistant for question answering tasks use the following piece of retrieved context to answer the question if you don't know the answer just say that you don't know use three sentences maximum and keep the answers concise right so we are not asking lm to like put a look, uh, send a lot of data just keep your answer as concise as possible and for that take question and context so we defined this kind of prompt earlier in our constants file but this time we are getting the prompt from here itself and only thing we have to do is that we have to pass on the question and the context on the basis of which it can answer actually right so let's quickly close it let's give it the question and again question will come from the shared state and let's give it the context as well this will also comes up from the shared state we have the documents here now once this is done we will get the generated answer right and this is the core part of our rag to invoke the model with the context and the question and get the generated answer right so once this is done we need to set this generated answer here in the state so that it can be passed on to the nodes and it uh, if, if there is any processing needs to be done it can be done or if we want to print simply the generated answer we can print it so it is uh, ideal to save this save this generated answer in the shared state
So what it's gonna do? I'm gonna give the simple generated answer answer but since this is the same we can use the shorthand operator simply returning the generated answer so that's it that this will gonna generate the answers from the LLM model passing on the context and the question 